What's going on everybody? Dark and Windy back at it again with another video. Once again, we're back at my wiki and we're continuing on our journey through Generation 2, the Kilo region. And we're continuing with Mantor. And I promise you, it is not a ripoff of the Rances or Fomantis. I made these guys first. So, let's see. Mantor. The original ones were from 2014, 2015. I know it says 2016, but I started. I, that's when I pretty much started uploading everything here. I started uploading everything to the wiki in 2016. So everything that came from there is from pretty much 2013, 2015 era. <clears throat> so, yeah, Mantor. The first version of Mantor was just weird. It had the blending and everything going on, and we don't and by now we know that Pokemon don't always like they don't usually they don't usually blend colors or shades and stuff. They usually use like definite line like hard lines to separate stuff. So yeah, that was already an issue. The second version, the second version was okay. Yeah, it was just weird because this one this eye looked weird because it didn't have the other line like this one, and. It, other than that, it was it was okay. Other than that, it was okay. It was just it just felt it just felt like the time needed to be redone. So now we have current Mantor, which looks a lot better, and I'm happy with it. There's not much there's well there's not much else I can say about it. All I can say is I didn't rip off of Fomance's Lorance's. I made these guys first, and they're bug and grass type, unlike unlike Fomance's Lorance's. So don't even say it. Let's see, it hides in gardens disguised as a plant. It eats a lot of soil to aid in its growth. Soil provides it with most of its energy. Yep, based on the orchid mantis and everything. All right, its evolution is Orkin, the mantis Pokemon. It looks, I really, I like how it turned out compared to its original one. It actually had like the claws and everything look better. The feet look good. And it's original one, it's original versions. It's original versions were weird. And I think, and I think it's 2017 version was the same way as its current one. It just has, uh, it just has some, something, a few changes. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, ooh, this eye, this eye. Oh my god, it's overlapping here. I'm not, I, I never looked closely. I didn't look closely. Oh, like this side has this, this side doesn't. Oh, the tendrils coming out. Oh, the the leaf on its head. Oh, what what is this? What is going on here? I don't get it out of my face. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, these guys. Let's see. Let's do a comparison. All right. So what all that happened was. Okay. So what happened? Okay, so I changed the colors here. The leaf up here changed. Uh, it lost some weight. Good for her. Good for her. Um, this thing changed, and I guess that's all. Well, and the arms changed. The arms changed colors. That's that's good enough. That's good. <clears throat> so. That's all, all I can say is, like, I, I, I'm going to say once again, reiterate, I did not rip off of Fomances and Lurantis. Thank you once again. All right. They stand still in large flower patches, blending in so that they can stay hidden. They, they can make their leafy claws sharp enough to slash through tempered steel. Yep. That seems about, yeah, that seems about right for Pokemon logic. Wait, what? Hold on. What is this comment? This image makes me uncomfortable. Oh, shut up. Next. Pastra. Pasture up the bush Pokemon. I think I based it off of a bush baby and a crab or something. Oh yeah, a bush baby. Okay. Yep, based off of a bush baby. I still don't like. Hold on. Like when it came to. <clears throat> oh, uh, oh, Galago, right? Those guys. Well, when it came to pasture up, it's kind of weird. This, this is a story for this. Okay, so. So its evolution crabbish was originally just single stage. It, it didn't have anything else going for it. It was just a single stage, a play on crab grass. That was it. Yeah, just a play on crab grass. So 
it was just originally that, but there and there was some. I think there was something else instead of pasture up here. I forget what it was, but because I got, I decided to scrap whatever else was here. I decided to just give crab bush in a pre-evolution, and that's what pasture up comes in. Um, so I just made pasture up a miniature version of crabbish, and that's all it is. And I guess I basically I said the base is based off of a bush baby, but I mean it evolves into crabgrass. So what it I guess it's whatever. They bury themselves in the ground, disguised as everyday shrubs. They have a tendency to rest on people's heads because they enjoy the feeling of hair and stubble. Yep, it'll sit on your head. That's literally all there is to it. It'll rest on your head. And crabbish, like I just said, it's just a, bit a play on crabgrass. I gotta redo. I gotta revamp it because. This bush needs to be trimmed a bit and like made a lot better. And also you can tell like, okay, so an easy way to tell which ones before I even say anything, which ones are uh, revamped or which ones aren't is be to look at the contents. If, if this, if the, both of these O's are still lowercase and or an origin isn't there, that means that if there's only four instead of five, that means that they're wrong. So let's see right here. Example right here. Crab, crab pasture up has been revamped. It looks a lot better. <clears throat> it looks a lot better compared to its old ones. Well, it, it's it's pretty much the same. Oh, never mind. It looks a lot better compared to its original. I'll say, all the other ones are pretty much the same with, with updated art. This is cursed. This is a cursed image because it is insinuating that the eyes are loose and. Uh oh, it's just, it's just awkward. So, we're just gonna move on. Oh, I made this in 2019. Hmm. Okay, so I may, I may need to revamp you again. Oh well. All right. So, yeah, crabbush needs to be redone. Moving on. Next up, we have Juby. All right, Juby. Juby is pretty much a kinkachu. You can tell by the name Juby. Um, why do I feel? I feel like. No, no. I was gonna say I think I was gonna have Juby be a starter at some point, but no, I don't think I, that was ever the, the plan. So yeah, Juby is a situation where <clears throat> it's one of the mods that have uh, evolution later on in a different gen. So like it's a king it's like a poly 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 wag and poly world situation where you get a king of rock and you get the evolution later. So it's pretty much so it's pretty much just a kink jew. Can't really say much about it. Not much nothing special about it. I'll have to revamp it to make it look a bit better. Let's see the Pokedex. Beloved by women, these little Pokemon are often sometimes seen riding in purses. They love eating bitter berries and planting wide open fields. All right, I don't know why I said they like to eat bitter stuff, but I guess they do. And next we have Jugru, the Prince Pokemon. Let's see, these Pokemon only eat bears that it deemed worthy to be eaten. It uses Juby to complete tasks for itself, such as bathing, feeding, and grooming. Uh, yeah, I forgot. The Prince had Juby are pretty much just like servants to Jugru and and uh, Forestire. So let's see. Yeah, Jugru is. Eh, I, I, I'll have to re. I'll definitely have to revamp you because he just looks weird. It's awkward, kind of to me. Let's see the original, the original and stuff. Oh well, I guess this. I guess this is the original. Well, not it's not the well not the original, but the it's, this is probably the second iteration because like the first iterations always like like I said I used to be a dumbass and I would like. Re -re replace instead of like up just upload new versions to DeviantArt and everything, and I often and I I lost my drives and flat I lost my flash drive files and stuff like that because they kept on getting corrupted or ruined and stuff like that. So I didn't have the original. I don't have the original originals, but so this is probably like the second iteration probably. But yeah, I probably need to re redo you indefinitely. Nothing special about you at all. All right. Next we have Nezumika. Nezumika is a Tangle Pokemon, Electric Grass. It's, a, it's pretty much another Gerblitz clone. Well, 
Icaro, Icaro, well, I, I said Icaro was the Gerbilis clone, Pika clone equivalent, but it's actually Nezumika, honestly, because it pretty much has the same kind of deal as Gerbilis, so it makes more sense. These Pokemon keep themselves buried, using their flower-like tails to absorb some light that they can convert to electricity. Nezumika stores electricity in its cheeks and sends it to its paws, but because its power is so weak, it only gives an enemy a tingling sensation. So, pretty much the only thing Nezumika could do is paralyze you or just tingle you a bit. It doesn't really, it can't really have, it doesn't really have any strong electrical power. So, but it, but it has grass moves as well, so, hey, you never know. You can use this grass moves instead. It's based on a vole. So, yeah. Pretty much. That's pretty much all there is. It looks it looks pretty good. It looks good compared to its other versions. It has a little grass bow tie. I did it before Rowlet. At least I think I did. Oh no, never mind, I didn't. Oh well. Oh my god. I haven't again, I haven't seen a lot of these old arts in a long time, so Oh my god, the original Nezumika was awful. Again, with the colored lines. Again, with the tail being weird. The eyes being too big. Like, the shading was just awful. The the arms, what? No mouth? Ugh. Cursed. Again. Again, same thing. Like, the flower tail is still here, but it's still just... Ugh. Just no... Just know the eyes are too far. At least the, the the diamond. I mean, the diamond cheeks are still there. At least that's something. I really like how yeah, I like I really like how this came out instead. Cause ugh, just ugh. All right, next we have Darbat. All right, the Sonar Pokemon. Uh, I think did this 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 line took too much inspiration from Noivern. Like I said, like I said before, the the I made this generation around when Gen when Gen six X and Y was coming out and everything. So yeah, this took too much inspiration from Noibat Noivern. Well, Noibat wasn't even revealed at the time. It was just Noivern. So yeah, it was just Noivern. It was just weird. It's the ears absorb air sound absorb air and sound waves in order to cha charge its tail, which acts as a radar and a sonar. It hides in the darkness of caves. None of that makes a lick of sense aside from it hides in the dark. It hides in the darkness of caves. So, yeah, moving on. Next, we have Nick Denar, aka Noibat ripoff, which I definitely need to revamp because, oh my god, this is blank, this is so blatant. They use sonar to make their way around. Highly territorial, it uses its tail to communicate with all invaders, effectively scaring them out of the territory. Yeah, I need to redo you big time because, oh my god, I have the same way the wings go and everything. Yeah, just, just. Just need to know. Just need to go. All right. Next up, we got Hemoglee. Want something that I've revamped again? Hemoglee is the leech Pokemon. Pretty much based on a leech and a blood bag, since you can tell by that tail. You know how those blood bags have like the white rim around them and everything. So that's that's pretty much all it is. Just a leech. Hemoglee hides in water, waiting for unsuspecting people and Pokemon to enter in order to latch onto them. The red coloring on his other belly is actually the blood of its victims. Yep. So whenever it sucks blood, <clears throat> that means this is means that it's already filled with blood. This underside is usually just white like its tail, but when it drinks a lot of blood, this is what happens. It turns red. Next we have Sucklot. It's still it's still apparently a leech, but I also based it off of some kind of worm. I think yeah, a bristle worm. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, these kinds of worms that have all these bristles and stuff going on with them. So yeah, it pretty much uses the the bristles and stuff like that to scrape more, to cause more wounds and get more blood out of it. Sucklot never stops drinking until its entire body is full. It swims quickly, using its spikes and coarse bristles to cut into victims and get more blood. Yep, dark and bug type. No, it's not a water type. I don't care. It's a bug type to me. Next, Molebi. Okay, so this okay, so this line is gonna be a situation where I revamped one of them, but the rest of them still look bad or weird. They they're not gonna match up. So Molebi is based like the tooth Pokemon. It's obviously th this line is based off of the Tooth Fairy. 
So according to legends, Molebi will appear when kids put teeth underneath their pillows. Its floss-like tail is able to cleanse anything that it wraps around. So yeah, I didn't update the dex entry or anything. I still need I need to update the dex entry because there is no tail. But yeah, it's pretty much a updated version of the older one. I can show you guys the older one. <clears throat> the older versions. They look pretty bad. Let's see. They look pretty bad. So yeah, here we have the first iteration. It looks just bad. But you can see the tail, the floss-like tail now, even though it's not white. Like it should be. It's still not white like it should be, but but now it has no mouth and the mouth is on the back of its head like a while. Not good. It still and it still just looks weird and awkward. So yeah. So yeah, now Mola B is little is a little baby with a tooth on with a tooth thing on its head. I need to read I need to revamp it. I need to just update this Pokedex entry. So next up we got Cuspix. Uh yeah, so Cuspix is a weird one. Like it has no mouth again. Well, it has a mouth, but you can't see it. It's like one, it's one of those deals, like with Sableye, where it, you can't see his mouth in his official art, but it has a mouth. Now you see, you see, it has a tooth on its head. Its head is like sharp or whatever, and it has like a tooth-like bomb. It has a tooth-like body at the bottom. So, and it's you see, you see, it still has this tail, which still isn't white. Yeah. Its floss-like tail hangs around the teeth, its teeth-like legs constantly. They are very friendly, but will also, but will always try to take others' loose teeth without consent. So yeah, this this cuspix will rip, will rip your teeth out while you're sleeping or something. It takes your teeth without consent. Yeah, so yeah, be careful around them. Oh, and yeah, it's a reference, the shiny stone, because my shiny teeth and me. You know, everyone's everyone's favorite song by pop artist Chip Skylark. Let's see. So let's see. Enamel. There's tooth Pokemon. As you can see, it has like this. It has no has no visible mouth again. The floss. It only has the floss like tail. And instead, the floss comes out of the tooth like thing on its head. And you can see a bunch of teeth around its body. Oh, I mean around around its dress and everything. And it's like it's a mouth up here, which probably which it probably is. I have no one. I have no idea. Hold on. It has a very large. It has very large internal jaws full of teeth that it has collected. When they take teeth from children, they slowly swipe their floss across their mouth, causing the growth of new teeth faster. All right, then I probably have to reword that, but yeah. And I'm guessing this is the internal jaws. Oh my god, I don't know what I was thinking about, but oh, oh my. This this is this is this is probably one of those things with a a cursed tooth fairy. Next next up we got Miranda. All right. So Miranda is pretty much a red a red panda. I did the fire I did the fire a different way instead of the traditional way I usually do it. <clears throat> it's fun though. I like how it turned out. I did I did kind of use well I did kind of use stuffle as a thing for this revamp. Yeah, this is a re as a revamp. But but it doesn't really matter because no, like it didn't really take a lot of stubble. I didn't really take a lot of stubble influence. It was pretty much just on all fours now instead of just being on its hind legs like it used to be. This was the original. The original one is still cute and everything. There's nothing wrong with it, but it just falls into the same category of okay, being shaped, everything flows together, head and everything. So yeah, and pretty much the. The hair and stuff remind me of Mancino too much, so yeah, it needed to, it needed to change. So here we so yep, we got new Miranda here. These cute Pokemon run and play in forest. Their tails are naturally dormant and will ignite when they are excited or frightened. Yep, it makes it's fine. <clears throat> it's a red, like I said, it's a red panda. It light, same kind of deal. It's pretty much like a revamp, but it's all right. Uh, still, a, still a red panda, the the torch Pokemon because of its tail. The flames are often used to signal the beginning of major sports events. When their tails, when their tail flames peter out, they grow extremely sick and sluggish. And we can see their originals. 
as you can see same same deal as uh same deal as Miranda like where it's fine it's cute and everything but it falls into the same category where it's like okay but it has the same deal where body head and everything still just flows together look too similar and okay so in the first iteration like it had these patterns and stuff like that which were fine and everything the mouth looked weird though and it just suddenly had this steel spike thing on its tail and these color these dark red these dark like red colors just came out of nowhere so i needed to change that or what or rather why did i do this like the design itself it was fine but the colors kind of messed it up because if i had a if i had had a better color red color here brown color or whatever it, it kind of would have been better but no no i went with this burnt color again now we got current Miranda, which looks which looks okay I still I, I feel like I have to revamp it again just because it just something about it just seems off now now that I'm looking at it again something about it just seems off looking at it and Blazesta another situation where I didn't really redo anything with this one yet I did I did Miranda and ALI and then do Blazesta and the only thing that it has is, is it is said that their phone their flames can melt the skin off of a bone in an instant and I don't I have it's I have the five thing here, but I guess I just did that just to have it out the way. But yeah, it's based off a of red pen as well, but I'd have to redo it. And it's also a torch, of course, because I, I really like how I did this fire. I really like how I did this fire. But uh, yeah, I had to re I, I had to revamp this. Yeah, not not much else I can say about it since I haven't revamped it. All right, Beaver, the muzzy Pokemon. Yes, his name is literally just Beaver. I don't care. It's dopey. I gave it a dopey name. That and I couldn't really think of anything else. All right, Beaver has the lowest IQ of all fighting types. It is easy to distract and defeat in battle. They spend their time floating in the water, staring at the sky. They can be attacked by anything, but will not register the pain until a bit later. So yeah, Beaver is pretty much just a dumb a dummy. Beaver is a dumbass. <clears throat> it pretty much just. Ugh. It doesn't really do anything. It just it just floats on water all the time, staring at the sky, staring down into space or whatever. It's pretty much easy to beat in battle. It not it's not much not much I can say about it. It's just dumb and weak. But its evolution would be worth it. Now it's based on now it's based on a Eurasian beaver compared to an American beaver or whatever. Your European beaver. Yeah, there's two types of beaver. I think American beaver and Eurasian beaver. These guys are based on the Eurasian beavers, <clears throat> beavers, and I have another mon that's based on an American beaver. So, yo, we'll get to that later, later down the line. But here we got, now we have his evolution. Now we're with the woodwork Pokemon. Oh, wait, hold on. No, wait. Before we do that, before we get into not work, let's go back to how beaver used to look. Because it did not always used to look as clean and more put together as it, as it does now. Oh my god. It just had the generic normal type color despite being a water and fighting type. Just... Ugh. The feet were weird. The tail was was too blocky, shapely and everything. The, no the mouth was weird. The eyes were off-putting. And the same deal, it's the same deal here. They, they just have this, they have the same problems but with better artwork. Same problem, better artwork. That's all it is. And now, and now current Beaver, the legs are better, the tail is better, the, the hands are better, the mouth the mouth and muzzle itself looks better. Everything looks better now for me. So yeah, I'm happy with the I'm happy with this guy. Now we can go on to its evolution. Nar work the woodwork Pokemon. Now it's pretty much based off of like a lumberjack and a beaver, pretty much. <clears throat> The toothpick, the toothpick that it gnaws on acts as an, anger, as an anger suppressant. When it gets angry, it will start swinging its log around and biting everything around it. They are highly recognized by their, for their innate inabilities to create pieces of art by chewing on wood. A wooden statue created by a gnawwork was once sold for thousands. So yeah, gnawwork is, 
No, I really like No Work, how it came out. Got, got, the, got your toothpick over here, got your beard, got your lumberjack beard. It has the markings on his body that look like he's wearing overalls. He has the the glove, the hands that look like gloves because of the thick fat, the fat around his hands. And same thing with his feet. Now the old gnaw work was the no the, the old gnaw work was rough. It was pretty much just a a cartoon character from a TV sh that you see from a TV show. Both of them, honestly. So <clears throat> yeah. The original gnaw work, <laughs> it still had the toothpick and everything, but it apparently, like, the skin was too, the, the skin was too close in color. It had this extra thing at the back of its tail. It had an earring. It had a tattoo. And it had chest hair. And again, and I want to re 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 reiterate again, it... The skin tone was barely changed, so it looks so awkward and weird, like it's just extra stuff around it. It's so, it was just so weird. I just, I made it look like he was like coming out of prison or something. Like, why did I give it a tattoo? Ugh. And then we got this guy, which again, the chest hair, the chest hair is back. It still has a toothpick. The arm, though. The arm bent is so like rubbery and bendy. It's so weird. The eyes, ugh. It still has this thing on its tail, which I don't know why. One foot's bigger. One foot's bigger than the other. The whole overall, the whole like suit overall looking thing looks weird and awkward. This hand, like it, it just all looked so bad. Uh, <clears throat> just ugh. So yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how current not work looks compared to those two, and we don't have to worry about the eyes anymore. They're closed, and it looks like it has the lum the lumberjack kind of cap too, the beanie type thing. But I'm happy, I'm really I'm just really happy with how this turned out overall compared to the other ones. All right, and I think we're gonna we're gonna end this this episode with Marlore, the sword Pokemon. It's pretty much just based on a swordfish. Can't really say much else about it. Its bill is strong enough to pierce through bedrock. They fight each other using their sword-like bills in order to assert their dominance. Sword, sword fights to assert dominance. Go. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it's essentially just a swordfish, but I just I decided to like I looked up different types of swords. Like for this, hold on. Let me see, let me see if I if the original one is here. I'm not sure if it is. Oh, oh no, it is. It is. <clears throat> Okay, so it's still the same. Okay, so it, they're still relatively the same. I just took out this fin that was up at the bottom of it. But for this, I looked up like, I don't want it to be like a traditional regular sword. So I looked up like different types. I just looked up swords and I then I went with one that wasn't traditional. I went with one that was more curvy. Hold on, let me see if I can find, find the one I was looking for. The one that I saw. Uh, well, it was kind of like this, like, yeah, it was kind of like this, like hook sword, hook swords that were like curvy and had like a lot of ridges and stuff like that, like those kinds of swords. I looked up, yeah, that was pretty much it for those kinds of swords. So I just looked up those kinds of swords and I, I used that for the basis of Marlowe's bill instead of like a regular, like pointed sword, like a fencing. Because... Regular swordfish bills are more for fencing, like they're more, like yeah, they're more for fencing swords. So, yeah, I really, I really like it. I still gotta revamp it since this design is from I think 2017. Yeah, this design is from 2017, so I gotta revamp it at some point. But yeah, it, it's it's a good, it's a cool design. I may add some stuff, take some stuff away. You never know. But when it comes to time, I'll do it. But right now, but I think that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll, we'll be back again to continue on with Spooky. Really original name, I know. I'm a genius. But yeah, for right now, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, thanks thank, Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Dark and Windy, out.